If a question asks us straight up, find the coordinates of the turning point, we need to know it's going to be complete in the square. Okay? So straight away we're going to do that. So we bring the x down, and half of this number, so it's a minus 2, so we're going to write minus 1 squared, of course. Then we're going to minus this number squared. So like I always say, I do not care what this number is, it's always a minus. This number squared is just 1, and then we just bring that number down, so minus 1. Now we're just going to tidy up the outside to give us x minus 1 squared minus 2. Now the coordinates of the turning point are just going to be this number with the sign flipped for the x coordinate, and this number for the y coordinate. And that is it. Find the coordinate of the turning point of this. As soon as a question is phrased like that, we know it's going to be complete in the square. So, let's get to it. This one's going to be quite tricky, it's going to involve some fractions. So, we bring the x down, and half of this number. Now, it says minus x, but we know that is minus 1x. So, half of the number in front of there will be minus a half. Squared, of course. Then we minus this number squared. So, it's always going to be minus. This number squared, a half times a half, is a quarter. It doesn't matter if that's positive or negative, because minus a half times minus a half is also a quarter. So we minus a quarter, and then we're just going to bring this number down here, plus 8. So the next step is to tidy up the outside, but obviously a fraction and a number, it doesn't look very nice. So here's the trick. Whenever we're doing uh, addition or subtraction between fractions and numbers, change the whole number into a fraction. Let's just call it 8 over 1 because then that makes it easier for us to spot a common denominator. So we're going to change this to minus 1 over 4 plus, and we times the top and bottom by 4, 32 over 4. Minus 1 plus 32 is going to be 31. So ultimately it gives us x minus a half squared plus 31 over 4. Now, to find the coordinates of the turning point, it would be this number with the sign flipped, so a half, and this number as it is, 31 over 4. That's your turning point. All right.